right guys so jumping straight into my primer this is the Rimmel I think it's fix and perfect primer it's a five in one and the main reason I took it is because it's all the rave a lot of people love it and on top of that it mattifies oily skin which I have so here I'm just applying it basically to my entire face to help smoothing out my large pores and any blemishes next I'm jumping into my eyebrows and I'm using something new this is from Tarte and this is their three-in-one brow pencil um, everything will be listed down below just in case you guys are wondering so basically this is a flat eyebrow pencil that's at an angle sort of like an eyebrow brush and then in the center it has like a highlighting portion basically just like a loose um, cream color eyeshadow and then it has a spoolie at the tip hence three in one being the name I'm not too crazy about it it did an okay job making my brows look soft um, I definitely have to try it out again and now I'm using my Anastasia brow tints this one is in hmm I think this is in brunette and I'm just putting a little bit over top my brows to keep them in place now I'm using my Tarte BB cream I'm going for something light because the weather's getting warmer here in New York City so I cannot be caking on too much and my face is still recovering from my Mirena slash IUD breakout so I'm really trying not to put too much and overwhelm my face and I'm just using my hands to blend in the BB cream all over my face I honestly don't like using my hands to blend in things like BB creams and foundations but I didn't feel like getting a brush I do grab one afterwards so just to help blend out the edges um it blended pretty nicely and it matches pretty nicely as well um this is in shade light medium and again it's the Tarte BB cream so now I take a brush from my Coastal Suns collection. This is just a flat top. Uh, it's not synthetic. It's a kabuki brush. And I'm just using it to blend out the edges. Now I'm going in with the Tarte Concealer Stick. And this one is in Light Honey. This is a newer shade that I purchased. It works really well with my acne scars. And as you see, those are the areas that I'm targeting. So I'm just using my finger to blend it. And then now I'm using the same flat top kabuki brush from Coastal Sense to blend it out a little further. Now I'm using the new, well I don't know how new this is, but this is the setting uh, powder from Tarte. I tried using the brush it came with, I didn't really like the way it felt. So again, I'm using the same Kabuki brush from Coastal Scents. This powder helps to mattify and absorb oil. Next, I'm using my Tarte's Eyelash Curler. No, this is not an all Tarte video, I'm just grabbing whatever's near me. And I'm also trying out my new mascara. This is from Buxom and it's a waterproof mascara. And I'm really loving this. I really love the wand and I really love the way it applies. It's smooth, it doesn't clump up, and it's waterproof, which again, I really love. And I totally forgot to mention that I am rushing through this video because my hubby only gave me 10 minutes to apply makeup because we're going to the movies and it's about to start. So here I'm grabbing any bronzer. This is the big bronzer from Bl from Blush, from ELF. And this is in, I think it's Los Cabos. Um, it's nice. It gave me a nice soft contour look and helped me give a little life to my flat face. Um, but I go in with another one and this one is from Urban Decay. It's like the 3-in-1 palette. You can't see it just yet, but I'm just telling you guys ahead of time. And I just go over this contour. So I should be doing that now. And I'm taking this bronzer because it's a bit warmer than the one I used before. Um, and I'm just going over it to add some warmth. And I do add the blush and the highlight afterwards. Here I'm applying the, well first I put some chapstick, some lip balm from, I think it's Nivea. And then I used one of the NYX lip butter lip glosses. I'm not sure the shade, but I will put it down below. And this is my M Cosmetics Waterline Dupe for Rose Gold. This is the one from L'Oreal. It's the Silk Asimi Pencil and it's in the shade Highlight. I'm applying that in my inner corners just to make them look alive. And the final step in this quick makeup routine is to apply a setting spray. Since it's warm outside, I'm using the one from Model in a Bottle and this is the Sensitive Formula. I'm also trying this out as well. It's not my favorite, but I'm trying to make it work. And then last but not least, fix this crazy curly hair. And that's it guys. Quick, easy, clean, and fresh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do follow me on my Twitter, my Instagram, and also follow me on Google+. 
Thanks again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.